Good afternoon, Baker Bear parents and, and students. Uh, we had some questions uh, during our parent engagement meetings about um, a template or, or how to set up the schedule so that your student knows when they're supposed to be online and when they're just supposed to be completing an assignment and have it turned in uh, by the end of the day. So I, I created a template and I'm going to share it with you all and kind of go over an example student's uh, template. So that way it, it might be a tool that you can use at home uh, to create uh, a schedule for your student and uh, stay on track when they should be online and when they should just be completing an assignments. So I'm going to share my screen uh, and then show you these and, and discuss our sample student and then how you can fill out the template. All right, so getting started and finding these documents, uh, the first thing you're going to go is to the LaporteISD.org uh, website. Um, you'll click on students. I'm going to click on staff. That'll bring me um, to mine where, where I have the documents. But y'all have access to the documents in the exact same spot. Uh, then into 365 cloud email, which will bring up a list of all the different applications that, that are active through Office. If you don't see this, then if you click on this waffle up here in this top left-hand corner, there's also another way to access all the apps. Um, I'm going to join the Teams. Let it load. And we'll see here I have a bunch of different teams. Your student will have their class schedule uh, with their teacher's names as well as this Baker Student 2020-2021. All students have this. Um, and me and Dr. Upchurch are the owners of this and we'll periodically post different information here. Uh, we're going to do our pledges and our announcements here. That way all students have access to it. So when I go in here, Files... and then our student schedule template. So when we look at here, I have a weekly schedule template that I have created for y'all. Um, y'all can print this out and then uh, handwrite on there um, based on your specific student schedule uh, when they have each of their classes. Uh, it's just taking a second for it to load. But we look here, we have the times, uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and bear time, Monday through Friday. Um, on, let me pull up the example that I had filled out, and I'll go over that one with y'all. So files again. Student schedule template. And then I have a student example. So this is a made-up student with their classes, how I wrote it down, and then how I color-coded it to uh, stay in line with when that student needs to be doing what. So if you look, an example student, I might put my student's name. I put what class they have and then who their teacher is underneath the time so they know what they'll be doing at that time during the day. I then put in here on red or blue or green. These blue boxes represent virtual teaching online instruction. Those are the synchronous days that they'll be in those classes when they will need to log in to Teams. For, for on Monday at 9.38, the student will need to log into Teams, log into Miss Lashley's team folder, and join the Teams meeting from 9.38 to 10.08. They would have a break, and then at 10.46, they would log into Miss Nelson's. Then at 1 o'clock after lunch, they would log into math, Miss Isidori's. And then bear time at 1.34, they'd be on Miss Jones um, to do the virtual interaction, online discussions, our social-emotional skills. So if we look here, I have red is our asynchronous classes. Those would just be classes that an assignment is due by 11.59 p.m. on that day to receive credit for attendance in that class. The blue classes are our synchronous classes. That's where they need to be online, in the Teams folder, uh, actively engaged for that whole period of time of that class. So like I said, the Science Lashley from 9.38 to 10.08, they would need to be in that Teams meeting uh, listening to the teaching, uh, interacting with the teacher, answering questions um, to receive attendance for that class. Our green represents our Friday. This will be the class where the teacher has it open. 
they need to join each one of these classes, meetings, uh, and teams for a short amount of time. It, it, most of them will not take the entire time, uh, but they can log on, get help with any assignments. The teacher can make them aware if they're missing anything. If they have any additional questions, they weren't understanding something, the teacher can give them online support on Friday. Now, they do have to log in to every class on Friday, and it, there will be some kind of short assignment or questionnaire that they'll need to answer virtually uh, to receive attendance for that class. Our magenta, this purple at the bottom, uh, that's our bear time. That's another class that they'll need to join uh, every day virtually to, to interact in that class. Um, so your students should be online from 134 to 234 every day, uh, Monday through Friday, getting the instruction, talking with the, the teacher there. Um, the teacher's able to help with, with other classes. Um, we'll have our social emotional skills. We'll have our announcements. We'll have all those real important things going on during this time. Um, so this, this is an example of a template like I said, it does not have to be used. I just wanted to give some kind of tool to parents that they could uh, create, write down their specific student schedule, and then know when the times of them supposed to be online or supposed to just be uh, completing an assignment. All right, parents, so those are just a couple of documents that I have shared in our Teams folder. Uh, if you have any questions on them or how to use them, please email me or, or you can call uh, the school and somebody can help you uh, figure out what to do. If you haven't received your technology or your schedule yet, um, we have them available, ready to give them out to you. Uh, just let us know here on campus and um, we can help you get ready for that first day of school in a couple days. Thank you.